Don't do that. I want you to go with me to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 26. I apologize that I give you the scriptures. Um, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, 26. Primera de Corintios 1, 26. 1 Corinthians 1, 26. That's where we're going to be. At. Vamos a estar ahí. And if you, when you have, you may say amen. Cuando lo tenga, diga amen. Aleluya. And they'll have it up here for you if you don't have it. As we read this, we are in part number eight. Estamos en parte número ocho de esto. It says like this. Dice de esta manera. Primera de Corintios, capítulo 1, 26. 1, 26. It says, For you see your calling, brethren, porque usted ve su llamado, hermanos, that not, not many wise according to the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. Mm. For you see your calling, brethren, that not many wise according to the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. That's a very powerful statement right there. Amen? Amen. How many of you are glad that God didn't call only the wise ones? Are you here with me? Amen. I'm glad he reached down all the way into the hood of Seguin and he said, I'm going to pull this man out that nobody believes in and I'm going to bring him and I'm going to make something out of him when nobody thinks he's a nobody. El Señor, aleluya, estoy contento que el Señor pudo, aleluya, extender su mano ahí al barrio quizá más pobre y escogió a este hombre y dijo voy a hacer algo de él aunque todo, todos crean que es un don nadie yo voy a crear algo en su vida aren't you glad, aleluya that God has reached down and picked you up yes, come on somebody and you might, you were not, you were at sometimes a nobody and people didn't, get, you know, think much about you but God chose you Dios te escogió a ti, come on somebody say God chose me Ah, he didn't choose the wise. No escogió, aleluya, aquel sabio. Mm. Why? Because God has a hard time with wise people. He might say, what do you mean? Because he says if you need wisdom, yeah. God has a hard time with people that think they're wise in their own mind. That's right, come on. And don't have the wisdom of God. People that say, it was all about me. I did this. I went to school by myself. I work hard to get everything I have. La gente que dice, yo trabajé duro para tener todo lo que tengo. God says, I can't do nothing with those people. Why? Because I will never get the glory. Porque Dios dice, nunca voy a tener la gloria. Nunca me va a dar la gloria. Because if I do a miracle with the nobody, people will look at the nobody and say, it had to be God. Right? Come on, somebody. Si, si, dice el Señor, si toma un don nadie y hago un milagro y lo uso, la gente va a decir, tuvo que ser Dios el que hizo eso. Because we know him. We know her. We know that they dropped out of school. We know that they have this. We know that they have that. Se salieron de la escuela. No tienen esto, no tienen nada. God had to be the one that did that in her life. Dios tuvo que ser el que hizo eso en su vida. So the person will automatically give God the glory. Le da la gloria a Dios. But a wise man says, I did it all by myself. But un hombre sabio dice, yo lo hice todo yo mismo. Are you here with me, church? Amen. So aren't you glad that God chose you? Look at somebody tell me, you better shake this nobody because I'm about to become a somebody. Dale la mano a alguien y dile, aquí está un don nadie que va a ser un alguien en esta hora. Aleluya. Come on, somebody. Mm. I don't go after the ones that think they got it all together. I go after the ones that don't have it all together and put it all together for them. Come on, somebody. Dios no sigue los que tienen, ya lo tienen todo. Dios sigue aquellos que no tienen nada y les da todo. Amen. Amen. So not many of you are called. Not, not, not many of you are wise. Verse 27, versículo 27. Here it is. Shout, but God. But God. I want you to shout it again. But God. But God, pero Dios, has chosen the foolish things of the world to put to shame the wise. Pero Dios ha escogido lo más vil. Aleluya del mundo para avergonzar al sabio. And God has chosen the weak things of the world to put to shame the things which are mighty. Come on, somebody shout. I thought I had some people. I thought that we had church in this place. Verse 28. Versículo 28. 
and the base things of this world and the things which are despised, God has chosen and the things which are not to bring to nothing the things that are. God has chosen all these things. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Ah, come on, somebody. Glory. God is going to take the foolish things of this world. If you right now don't think too highly of yourself, you are a prime candidate for this. Si usted no piensa mucho de sí mismo, usted es un candidato para esta escritura. Yeah. Are you here with me today? Yeah. Hey, if you think you're down and you're a nobody, nobody loves you, nadie te quiere, aleluya, you are a prime candidate in the hands of God that God will make you somebody. Dios te hará algo. ¿Cuántos dicen amén? Ah, the people that think they got it all together, God says, I'm going to leave them alone. I'm going to get the ones that think they don't got nothing. Come on, somebody. If you are here, say, God, that's me right here. Mm. I wasn't voted. Amen. Most likely to do anything. But God, nunca me, a mí no me escogieron para hacer algo, pero Dios sí me escogió. Mm. Come on, somebody. Uh, there's, listen, there's people right now that are surprised that you are who you are right now in Christ. Are you hearing me? Hay gente ahorita mismo, mi hermano, que está sorprendido, aleluya, o sorprendidos por lo que Dios ha hecho en tu vida. Amen. Family and friends are surprised that you haven't drank. Amen. Friends and family are surprised that you keep coming home at a decent hour now than before. Amen. Gente y amigos y familia, mi hermano, ya no están sorprendidos que ya no tomas como tomabas. Amen. Bueno, que ya no tomas, no como tomabas, pero que ya no tomas. Gente y familia, mi hermano, está sorprendido que ahora llegas a una buena hora a tu casa. Amen. Are you here with me? Amen. God, listen, because God has chose you. You are, you know, you might say, listen, you might say, I'm a black sheep of the family. I don't care what color you are, you're still a sheep. Amen. The Bible doesn't say that God left the white sheep or the Mexican sheep or the black sheep or the green sheep. To go follow after a certain kind. He just said he left the 99 to go follow the one. It's all about the one. Dios nunca dijo, dejó a las blancas, a las ovejas blancas, a las ovejas negras. No le puso color. Dejó a las 99 para seguir a una que andaba perdida. And if you are in this place, say, I'm that number one. I'm that one that was lost. And he came after me. Hallelujah. I was black, but when I got when he got a hold of me, he made me white again. White as snow. Yo era la oveja negra, pero cuando tomó mi vida, aleluya, me hizo blanco como la nieve. Come on, somebody. Mm. I'm supposed to teach this. Verse 29. Why is God, hallelujah, choosing the foolish things? So that no flesh should glory in his presence. ¿Por qué Dios escoge, mi hermano, lo más vil del mundo? Para que la carne no se gloríe en Dios. Are you here with me? Amen. God is a holy God. The word holy means one, and the Greek means one. God is one. Say, God is one. God is one. Dios es uno. And I told you this week we had the, the presentation of we had the people up here. He was the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He was three in one. Say, three in one. Three in one. And God, hallelujah, is able to do, listen, God is able to be three in one. He's a father, he's a son, and the Holy Spirit. Es el Padre, es el Hijo, y el Espíritu Santo. God is integrated. God can integrate. Dios puede integrarse en el mismo. Es Padre, es Hijo, es Espíritu Santo. Are you here with me? Amen. So God created us this way as well. Dios nos creó de esta manera. I told you last week that God, the Father, hallelujah, declares the word. El Padre declara la palabra te dije la semana pasada the son performs the word el hijo aleluya o la palabra hace la obra but the Holy Spirit is the power by which that word is being done el Espíritu Santo es el poder por el cual la palabra es aleluya has hecho cuando dicen amen so God when he created you and I he said let us say us plural amen plural dijo nosotros hagamos al hombre Amén. 
al hombre nuestra imagen y semejanza. So he had himself, the Son and the Holy Spirit, they were all integrated, estaban todos integrados, aleluya. And we call this, I told you last week that this, this word is not in the Bible, no está en la Biblia, called Trinity. We are Our Father is a Trinity, a, a, a Trinitarian. Es un Trinitario nuestro Padre porque es Hijo. Es Padre, Hijo y Espíritu Santo. Amen. Amen. His Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I told you that when He created us, He created us just like Him. We are a three-part person. Look at somebody tell them, I am a three-part person. I am a spirit, I am a soul, and I am a body. Are you here with me? Yo soy espíritu, soy alma, soy cuerpo, aleluya. Soy, aleluya, trinitario también. Soy tres personas en uno. I am three people, three persons in one. Say one. One. Ah. So God created us just like him. I am a spirit. And if God is ever going to speak to us, he's going to speak to us through what? Through our spirit. The Bible says, who knows the mind of God? The Bible talks about the wisdom of God, the mind of God. The only one that knows it is the mind, the spirit of God knows the mind of God. So it speaks to us. El Espíritu Santo conoce, aleluya, la mente de Dios y nos da la información a nosotros. ¿Cuántos dicen, cuántos dicen amen? amen? So God begins to talk to us. Dios empieza a hablarnos. And I have this thing again. I need three people again up here real quick. Three people, three people. Rápido, no, no corran todos al mismo tiempo. Come on, come on. You're the mind, you're the father, and you're the soul, Joah. Okay, Joah need to yeah, change places. Don't, don't rest, don't, don't, don't fight, guys. <laughs> so, we got the father, we got the spirit, or the word, and we got the, 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 the spirit. The father, the soul, and the spirit. Soul is the same thing as mind, Okay? Soul is where you get your, your, your mind, your intellect, your emotions. The word. I got the wrong one. I think it's in my office. But it is the spirit. The mind. It says, son, it says um, soul and mind, I think. Um, so we have, we are a three-part person. I said, I said this to you. And I'm doing it just real quick so that you can understand where, where I'm going. Amen? Amen. We are a three-part person. If I can, this is, this right here is a community all by itself. Esta es una comunidad sola aquí, ¿verdad? Estos tres. If I can get these three to agree, si puedo mantener estos tres, aleluya. The soul of the mind, right? Brother Joe. Brother Joe took the, took the wrong one. We blame him, Brother Joe. He's all good. Right, brother? It's all good? It happened for a purpose. There you go. He always has an answer to everything. Praise the Lord. Good job, Joel. Amen. Don't let it happen again. Amen. Um, so, if we can ever get these three to agree, if we can ever get, here's a problem. The problem is that, you know, this here and this one here don't always agree. Do you have another one? Do you, can you take them back? Yes. Can you give me the body? Sorry, guys. I thought I had the body. I do have the body. Amen. It's right here. If we could ever get these three to agree, you'd be amazed what a powerful person you would be. Si pudiéramos hacer que estas tres personas se pongan de acuerdo, but I give it to you. Now, Ethan is the one that got it wrong this time. All right. All right, he picked the wrong one too. He wanted to pull out Joe. He said, Joe, did it, I can do it too. <laughs> so, if, can y'all get over here a little bit more? Y'all are like, right there, right there. There you go, good job. Thank you, guys. There's, come on, give, 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 them, give them an applause. There you go. There my go. Here's the problem. These, these two right here are never in agreement. Sit on that for me. Sit on that one. Yeah. These two are never in agreement. El Espíritu tuyo y tu cuerpo. Your spirit and your flesh. The body is your flesh. It's la carne. Nunca están de acuerdo. That's right. They're always wrestling against each other. Mm -hmm. Because one pulls you one way, the other one pulls you another way. Uno te estira para un lado, el otro te estira para el otro lado. Y el cuerpo y el espíritu nunca están de acuerdo en ti mismo. 
The biggest conflict you'll ever have is a conflict with yourself. Come on. Let me say that again. The biggest conflict and the biggest problem you'll ever have is not with people, it's with yourself. El problema más grande que puedas tener, el conflicto más grande, no es con gente, es con ti mismo. It's getting you to believe you. Are you here with me? Amen. Es creer que tú puedas creer en ti mismo. Because you don't believe in you. And you don't believe in you because you got used to people not believing in you. Tú no crees en ti porque tú tienes gente que no ha creído en ti. All your life, nobody believed in you. So you became accustomed to people not believing in you. So you said in your own mind, I guess I'm not going to believe in myself either. Come on. Right? Yes. Porque la gente nunca estaba de acuerdo contigo. Entonces tú ya no vas a creer en ti mismo. La gente no creía en ti. Está aquí conmigo, iglesia. Amen. So we have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They're a community within themselves. El Padre, el Hijo y el Espíritu son una comunidad Solos, mi hermano, entre ellos. Mm -hmm. And the thing about the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is that they're always in agreement. They will never, ever, ever contradict each other. Right. Nunca se van a contradecir el Padre, el Hijo y el Espíritu. Nunca. The Father, the Word, and the Spirit. Whatever the Father says, oh, okay, I don't have it. So whatever the Father says, the Word and the Spirit will automatically say yes. Mm -hmm. Did you hear me? They will never contradict Amen. each other. Nunca se contradicen. Si el Padre dice, if the Father says, I'm going to bless them, the, father, the Son says, okay. And the Spirit says, okay. And they'll bless you. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Si está aquí conmigo, si el Padre dice, tú vas a ser bendecido, el Hijo dice que sí, y el Espíritu dice que sí, y somos bendecidos. ¿Por qué? Porque nunca se contradicen. Whenever you are here, and you begin to think, hallelujah, like a blessed man, your body will not allow you to go that way. Cuando estás aquí, estás pensando que eres bendecido. Tu cuerpo, tu carne, nunca va a dejar que vayas a ese lugar. That's why we always, we're broke, we're down, we're bust. Why? Because what comes out of our mouth, our flesh is constantly dragging us that way. Nuestra carne siempre nos va a llevar a ese lugar, hermano. Are you here with me, church? So, the word of God, amen, is the one that performs it, but the Holy Spirit is the one that that has the power. And when God left, amen, God said, I'm going to send somebody. So he sent the son. And when the son left, he said, I'm going to send you somebody else. So we were never left alone. I don't know why people say, I'm all lonely. I'm all by myself. Where is God? Come on. How many of us have felt lonely? Come on, let me be honest. How many of us have felt lonely? When we, are, when we feel lonely, when we feel lonely, when we feel lonely, God is up there saying, where am I? Who am I? Why do you feel lonely if I'm right here? I'm here with you. Why do you feel lonely? Why do you feel lonely? You are right here. He said, I'm right here. All you got to do is call upon me. I'm right there. Amen. I know, but I want somebody I can see. Well, if you get in the spirit, you can see me. Come on now. Ay, pastor, es que quiero algo, quiero ver a alguien ahí que esté conmigo. Dice el Señor, si te metes en el Espíritu, me puedes ver. Amén, amén. Mm, come on, somebody. Ah. So Jesus never did anything unless the Father told him. He said, I only do what my Father says, and I only say what my Father says. Dijo Jesús, yo solamente hago lo que el Padre me dice. Yo solamente digo lo que el Padre me dice. So Jesus said, I never speak out of line. Why? Because I only do what he says and I only hear. When I hear him, I'll say what he says. So now that he's gone, the Holy Spirit will never speak out of line. El Espíritu Santo nunca va a hablar fuera de línea. El Espíritu Santo siempre va a hablar lo que el Padre dice. He's going to reveal to us secret things, cosas secretas. ¿Cuántos dicen amén? amén. Are you here with me, church? Amén. So whenever he does that, Amen. God wants us to unite together, but it is hard because these two fight all the time. Esos dos pelean mucho. And they're fighting for one thing. They're fighting for your mind. Amen. Están peleando por tu mente. Are you hearing me? You must say, Pastor, that is elementary. I already know that. And here you are still struggling with the same thing you already know. Come on now. Amen. Uh, Pastor, yo ya lo sé, eso, eso, yeah. eso, eso, eso es enseñárselo a los niños, pero todavía estamos batallando con la cosa que sabemos. Uh -huh. 
Come on if you already know, why are you still struggling with it? Yeah. If you already know about the things that I'm teaching you and telling you, Pastor, I, I can go to another church that has deeper. Yeah, you're going to go get drowned because you can't do the basic thing, the elementary things that we need to learn. Some people want deep stuff and you're going to get drowned because you can't even do the shallow stuff. You have not learned how to maneuver the, chal the shallow stuff that we have here, the shallow. Are you here with me? Yeah. I'll be praying for everyone of you that's laughing at me right now. So Jesus said, listen, Jesus said, I have much more to tell you, but listen to this. He said, but I can't tell you now because you can't handle it. Amen. Come on. Tengo mucho más que decirte, dice el Señor, pero no te lo voy a decir porque no puedes con ello. He said, but the one that I'm going to send in, send in my place, he's going to reveal all these things to you. Pero el que te voy a mandar a mi lugar, él te va a revelar todas las cosas que yo todavía no te he dicho. Because there's still some things that we cannot handle. That's right. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. There's stuff that we can't handle yet. That's right. There's correction that we can't handle yet. Come on, now. Come on. Hay corrección que no podemos todavía, mi hermano, por la corrección. So God says, listen, I can't tell you everything. You can't handle it. You'll drown. He said, but somebody else is coming. He's going to tell you. He's going to reveal these things to you. It's called the Holy Spirit. Es el Espíritu Santo. Are you here with me, church? Amen. Come on, somebody. Talk to me. Amen. Mm. So he said, the Holy Spirit will only speak to you when he hears my father's. He knows everything. He's the one that's going to direct you and guide you wherever it is that you go. Listen, that is why it's very important that we live in the Spirit. Vivir en el Espíritu es muy importante, hermano. Why? Because He knows all things. El Espíritu sabe todo. When you're going the wrong way, the Holy Spirit is telling you, He's not going to stop you. He's only going to tell you that that's not the right way. Amen. Amen. Right? So if you fall, it's not God's fault. He told you not to go that way. Yeah. You did not listen to him. No le echamos, no le hicimos caso al Espíritu Santo. May I remember Wednesday, uh, 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 you know, I know Lydia's too small. But remember, Lydia was running. We said, don't do that. She kept on running. What happened? She came in and she just wham. She hit herself on the head. Right? Se pegó en la cabeza. She cried. We took her to the back. We brought her back. La traemos ya. Dejó de llorar. She stopped crying. She was smiling. She was laughing. And as soon as they put her down, guess what she did? She went back up there again. Some of us are going to have to fall a couple of times. Before we can ever learn. Listen, because listen, I am a firm believer that there's only two teachers in your life. And pain is one of them. Amen. Pain, pain is a teacher that a lot of a lot of us. That's the only way we're going to learn. Yeah. El dolor, mi hermano, es un maestro. ¿Cuánto dice amen? Es una maestra amen. para que aprendas o aprendes del que te dice que lo que no lo hagas o aprendes del dolor que te va a traer ese problema. You either learn from the person that tells you don't do that, or you're gonna learn from the pain that you go through because you're being stubborn. And going and doing the thing that told you not to do. Amen. Amen. How many of us were very obedient when our mom told us, told us not to do it? That's right. Amen. Y'all be lying. You, I know you're lying. I know, I know him. That's my son. I know he's lying. I know that for a fact. I was an angel. Some of us are going to have to go through things. And listen, even pain, we have to go through a lot of pain sometimes to be able to learn. A veces tenemos que pasar. Well, why would God put us to that? God will never put you through that. You put yourself through it. Amen. Yes. If you just listen to your spirit that listens to his spirit, si escuchas a tu espíritu, que escucha el espíritu de él que te dice, don't do that. Don't marry that one. Don't get with that one. Don't go in that road. Don't get in that car with that. Don't get in the bedroom with that one. Don't do this. And you don't listen to them. Listen. Pain is your only option at that moment. Come on. Amen. Why does he have to go through that? Because it's the truth. 
I'm not going to worry God. I'm going to tell you what it is because I know it. I've been there. You've stood ahí. Cuando el Espíritu te dice, no te acuestes con ese. No te cases con ese. No te juntes con ese. No vayas para allá. No te metas en esa cantina. Pero andamos terco. El dolor es el, la única opción que tenemos desde ahí en adelante. Amen. Because now you're hurt. Now you're bitter. Now you're backstabbed. Now your heart's broken. Oh, Why am I always getting in with the wrong crowd? Because you ain't paying attention to him. Yeah. Porque yeah. siempre me meto con el que no debe pastor. Es que nunca le haces caso a él. You're always the lust of the flesh. Amen. The lust of the flesh is always desiring the bad things. Yeah. Las pasiones de la carne siempre desean las cosas del mundo. Amen. Are you here with me, church? Amen. Tell him, I think he's talking to you. <laughs> And to me. Here is the problem. Your body is the flesh, and the flesh will never ever get glory. Tu cuerpo es la carne y nunca va a recibir la gloria de Dios. Until your life is guided by Him, you will never glory in the things of God. Here's the problem. This guy's going crazy. Literally. <laughs> in the natural and in the spirit. In the physical. Why is he going crazy? Because he's sending thoughts into his mind. And he's sending thoughts into his mind. So he's in the middle having to decide which way am I going to go. What do I do? Do I go through the past experiences or do I follow the new things that God has for me? Oh. Este, este pensamiento, aleluya, tiene el problema. That is where your problem is, right here. Aquí está el problema. Why? Because he makes the decisions of your life. He has to either yield to him or yield to him. O se va a, a parar a la carne o al espíritu. One of these two are going to take the driver's seat in his life. Come on. Amen. Alguno de estos dos, el espíritu o la carne, va a manejar el carro de este hombre. Amen. And it is not God's fault who's driving. It's our fault who we allow to drive. Some of you, I will not get in the car with you. I will not, because you are a reckless driver. And some of you will not get into the car with me either. My wife is one of them. My wife is my helper. Amen. Right? Amen. <laughs> Because she listens to the Spirit, she says. See? See how good she does? I threw that in there. <laughs> some of you, some, no, wait, let me go check one. Some of us don't put the brakes until we're this close to the car. Right? And the passenger has their nails stuck to the floorboard, trying to brake for you, and the car's not stopping. Algunos de ustedes ponen, no ponen los frenos al carro hasta que no está bien enfrente de usted. ¿Cuántos de ustedes son pasajeros y todavía quieren manejar porque la otra persona no sabe manejar? Many of us, we are passengers and we're like with our nails stuck to the floorboard because the other person is just a crazy driver. You ever met any crazy drivers? Yeah. Anybody a crazy driver? Don't, don't hold it down. We got camera, yeah, we got camera. Everybody who raised their hand, thought of it. We got some crazy drivers in us. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. This is the crazy driver. I'm not saying it, but, but I think I'm just going to tell you. This is the crazy driver. And I should say prophetically, too, that this is a crazy driver in the spirit, in the, in the natural, but in the spirit realm. Your spirit is not a crazy driver because your spirit knows where to turn. Where to go, your spirit right. knows when to stop. Come on now. Your spirit knows how far to go. Yeah. Yeah. Right, El sabe cuando pararse. He knows when to yield. The spirit knows when to shut up. Come on. Come on. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That hurt. The flesh oh. down. La carne no sabe cuando callar. Are you guys getting anything from this? Amen. Look at somebody saying, I think you're talking to me. I think I came at the right service. <laughs> And the problem is that many of us in the church are being guided by this person. Come on. Come on. In the church, many of us are being guided by this person. 
Because listen, the shout that you give and the praise that you give will help you while you're in here. But at the end of the day, he's going to make the decision once you go outside. Gritas aquí, alabas a Dios aquí en la iglesia, pero cuando salgas, él tiene que hacer la decisión cuando salgas de este lugar. And many of us are not being guided by the Spirit of God. We're being guided by the flesh. Are you here with me, church? Amen. Look at somebody tell him, I think he's talking to me again. I think he's talking to me again. So when God speaks to us, listen, we have to be very careful. Why? God, God will never want your glory to glory, your flesh to glory in itself. Dios nunca va a permitir que tú te glories en la carne. Amen. Amen. Why? Because I'm not, I'm not saying it. I'm just, I'm just using you as an example. Okay? If you want to get that straight, we got it on video. Right? So, why? Because there's nothing good in here. There's nothing good that will profit our life in here. No hay nada bueno en la carne. Amen. Because if there was anything good in the flesh, none of us would be in here today. Amen. 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 Right? Amen. Why would I need to come to church if my flesh is doing making some right choices? If my flesh is telling me the right things to do and the right things to say. Many of us are here because this guy messed up. This guy here has ruined our life. This guy. Sorry. Esta persona nos ha arruinado la vida. This person right here has left us broken, yes. busted, disgusted. We can't even be trusted, and you can't even trust people. This person here, esta persona aquí. And there is nothing good in it. Y no hay nada bueno. Yet, we still choose to live here. No hay nada bueno, pero como quiera, anhelamos vivir aquí. Why? Because there's still a desire. Todavía hay un deseo carnal. ¿Cuánto dicen? Amen. Amen. Go to 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9. Are you are y'all here? Amen. Amen. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 9. We're in the same chapter of 1 Corinthians. This is going to be good. I'm, I promise you I'm almost through. Got to give me about another 40 minutes. It says, but it is written... I has not seen, nor ear has heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared for those who what? Shout. Love him. Love him. No ear, no eye has not seen, ear has not heard, nor either entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared for those who love him. That automatically takes the glory out of the flesh. Are you hearing me? Amen. Why? Because the flesh hears, the flesh sees, la carne ve, la carne oye, la carne siente. Amen. So, este versículo, de acuerdo a este versículo, elimina la carne. This verse here eliminates the flesh. So, there's other place that God has for us called the spirit. El Espíritu de Dios es el otro lugar. Amen. Amen. And God has things for us that he hid in our spirit. Dios ha escondido cosas en tu espíritu. If you could just, listen, if you could just get what God has placed in your spirit. You would stop talking down on yourself or talking yourself down or devaluing yourself. Si pudiéramos recibir lo que está en el Espíritu, mi hermano, lo que Dios nos ha dado, ya no habláramos mal de nosotros mismos. Say, listen, some of you, you don't even talk bad about people. You talk bad about yourself. Some of you, you gossip about yourself. That's right, man. Muchos de nosotros somos, estamos chismeando, pero de nosotros mismos. That's right. How, how do I do it? You tell yourself when you go and tell people, no, I'm, I, I can't. I'm not that qualified. I'm not that good. I don't look pretty. I'm ugly. I'm too fat. I'm too short. I'm too tall. I'm too skinny. I don't like myself. I got eyebrows. I got big old eyebrows. I don't have, look at my lip. Look at this. Look. We start talking down on ourselves. Empezamos a hablar de nosotros mismos. Estamos chismeando, hermano. You don't even believe in nothing that God has made. And the moment you're complaining, God say, listen, you, you try to say that I did something wrong. Está diciendo que yo hice algo mal. Are you here with me, church? Amen. Ah. Verse 10. Are you getting something? Yes. 
I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you. Verse 10. Let's take a look at this. But God, say, but God, again, but God. has what? Revealed. Has revealed them to us through what? His Spirit. Spirit. Through His Spirit. God will never come and tell you something in the flesh. He will always reveal it to your spirit. Te lo va a revelar al Espíritu, no a la carne. But it is our job to make sure that we listen and we're in tune to the Spirit. Nuestro trabajo es estar entonado, mi hermano, con el Espíritu. En uno. Because he's going to reveal it to our spirit. Lo va a revelar a nuestro espíritu. For the spirit searches all things, yes, even the deep things of God. Porque el espíritu escudriña todo, aún lo profundo de Dios, el espíritu lo escudriña. The flesh don't want, to, don't want to search nothing. The flesh wants to lay down. The flesh wants to rest. The flesh wants to eat. The flesh don't want to do nothing. La carne no se quiere hacer nada. But the spirit searches the deep things of God. El espíritu escudriña las cosas profundas de Dios. Are you here with me? Amen. You are so quiet today. Amen. Amen. Verse 11. Hopefully you're learning something or writing something. Verse 11. For what man knows the things of a man except the what? The spirit. The spirit of a man. Which is where? Him. In him. Even so, no one knows the things of God except what? The Spirit, the Spirit of God. Yeah. The Spirit of God will speak to the Spirit of man. The Spirit right. of God will tell what the Spirit of man to the Spirit of man what God said about him. Right. El Espíritu de Dios le va a hablar al Espíritu de, 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 del hombre. El Espíritu de Dios le va a decir todo lo que el, el hombre necesita saber de acuerdo a Dios. He will never come, to, listen, if he comes and talks to the flesh, that is contrary. So he'll always talk to the Spirit. Amen. But we don't always live in the Spirit. Right? Amen. How many of y'all wake up in the spirit every morning? ¿Cuántos nos levantamos en el espíritu cada mañana? O se levantan y hablan en lengua. Oh, la pasa anda todo. ¿Para qué no? You don't wake up in the spirit like that. Oh man, so tired my back hurts. Me duele la espalda el lunes otra vez. Me duele la espalda, me duele la rodilla. Me duele el dedo gordo y lo sufre el otro. Me duele esta rodilla. No, me duele esta otra rodilla. Everything hurts. I remember one of my uncles, he went for, we had prayer service yeah. one time for healing. So it's just a joke inside, so kind of to make you laugh because you ain't doing nothing right now. Um, <laughs> we, we, went, we had a, a healing room, right? Like we, we, we were had him up there and we were going to do healing. And then uh, one, of the, one of the people said, hey, okay, put your hand whatever, wherever it hurts. Pon tu mano donde le duele. My mom was starting going like this. What's wrong with you? He goes, everything hurts. Oh, me duele. Because sometimes we don't get up in the spirit. We always get up. We, some of us, we get up complaining every single day. How many of you know anybody that complains every day? ¿Cuántos conocen a alguien que se queja todos los días? Okay. How many of you are the ones that complain every day you get up complaining every day? ¿Cuántos de ustedes que se quejan todo el día? Amen. Don't look at me, just put your head down, it's alright, put your head down. Don't look at the things of God except the Spirit of God. Verse 11, verse 12. This is good stuff, guys. Amen. Now we have received not the Spirit of what? The world. The world. But the Spirit of who? But the spirit who is from what? God. Yeah. That we might know the things that have been freely given to us by who? God. The devil didn't give it to you. God gave it to you. Amen. Está aquí conmigo. Es el versículo 12. Vamos al versículo 13. Léale conmigo los español, por favor. Versículo 13, verse 13. Ah, this is good stuff. You're going to run a little bit. If you don't, I'm going to run these things we have also speak, not in words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. Ah, uh, next verse. Verse 14. Come on, somebody. Mm. But the natural man, say natural man right here. Natural man. The natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit. Mm. Come on. El hombre natural no recibe las cosas del Espíritu. He does not receive them, for they are foolishness to him. Oh, my God. Nor can he know them because they are what? Spiritually discerned. This guy here will discern the things of God. This guy here is going to say, that is foolish. How are you going to give your last $5, your last $100 to the church? That is foolish. The Spirit is over here saying, but you can see what he has on the other hand. You can see what God is about to give you. That's why he's trying to get you to release that. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. 
¿Cómo vas a dar? En la carne dice, ¿cómo vas a dar los últimos 100 dólares que tienes a la iglesia? Te vas a quedar sin nada. Pero el Espíritu te dice, si vieras lo que tiene Dios en la otra mano, por eso te está diciendo que suelte eso. Amén. Are you here with me? Dice, se llama leche glory in your flesh. No voy a permitir que te gloríes en la carne. Because I have things hidden for you in a certain place where in your spirit. Tengo cosas, aleluya, ya, aleluya, almacenadas en el Espíritu para ti. But he doesn't understand that. Él no lo entiende. Él sí lo entiende. The only thing is that he has managed to let him or tell him, hey, silence him, lower the volume, and pump the volume up on this one. Súbele el volumen a la carne, pero bájale el volumen al Espíritu. You don't need that. You don't need to come to church. Man, you don't need to come to Bible study on Wednesday. Stay at home. Oh, I'm going to go as far as saying this. Men, you don't need to answer my text messages. Oh, come, on. come on now. It don't take much, men, to just say, okay, Pastor, got it. Thumbs up, no thumbs down, something. Una estrella, un corazoncito, un angelito. Mándame a alguien. Mándame humo. Señales de humo. Algo. Send me something. Then just answer the text messages. Don't take too much. Am I right? Don't take that long. You're on the phone anyways. Come on. Oh, Pastor, I'm on my Bible. That's a lot. You're on the phone. <laughs> How else would you answer the text messages and all this stuff on Facebook? We see it. Mm. Say, so we see it. We see it. We see it. We see it. <laughs> Did I go off already? Oh, come on. It's all right. Come on now. It's all right. Come on. That's right. Y'all need to help me in here, guys. Y'all okay. need to help me. Uh, Go to, go to um, verse 6 real quick. Oh, let's see. I know we're going backwards, but it's good. Sometimes you have to go backwards to go forward. Verse 6. Listen. However, we speak what? The wisdom among those who are mature. Yet not the wisdom of this age, nor the rulers of this age who are coming to what? Nothing. Nothing. Shot nothing. 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 We speak the, main, the, the wisdom amongst those who are mature. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Verse 7. Versículo 7. 1 Corinthians 2, 7. 2, 7. You got it? Yes. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. Shot mystery. mystery. The hidden wisdom which is which God ordained before the ages for what? Shout our glory. glory. God has wisdom and he has deposited in a place where, listen, it is in your spirit. It's time for spirit. Are you here with me? Amen. Mm. I have hidden these things in a mysterious place. It's not out in the open where everybody can see it. It's in a hidden place. Es un lugar escondido donde he puesto todo en tu vida. No en un lugar donde todo lo vea. Are you here with me, church? Amen. He's got it in a place where nobody else can see it. Mm. He hid it from you. Are you here with me? Because your flesh is not going to get glory. He tucked it away. Look at somebody tell him. He tucked it away. He tucked it away in, listen to me. He tucked it away in your identity. This is the only one that knows your identity. This one don't know. This one knows. El Espíritu sabe tu identidad. La carne, lo único que sabe o conoce son las experiencias que has pasado. Mm -hmm. The Spirit knows who you are, your true identity, but your flesh, all it knows is experiences. Mm -hmm. Come on. So whatever hell you've been through, he knows it all. And what he does is he sends them back to your mind to replay them. How many of you have watched the movie more than once? Some of you have memorized that. The, I know some of my kids have. Some of you have memorized the movie and you can say the movie from beginning to end. Everything that they're going to say and they're going to do at the moment. Right. Yeah. Wow. That's right. I mean, I look at my grandkids and they sit there and they know what's going to happen in every one of those songs or cartoons or whatever it is that they watch. They know everything. Well, they act it out. Cosa. Well, they act even it Lydia, out. even my son, he sits there. 
I can't watch a movie with my son. And I'm not gonna watch a movie with my son. I'm not. You know what I gotta put in Oh, that's rude. No, it's not rude. I'm telling you the truth. Why? Because before anything happens, he tells me. So why am I gonna watch the movie? I can sit here and listen to you. So we're gonna be like that? Right? It's gonna be like that? It's gonna be like that? Really? Okay. Right? Why? So listen. What happens is this person here replays your experiences. Yeah. Oh, you remember they hurt you? So you can't ever get into a relationship anymore. Remember how they downed you? Remember how you hurt? So he always wants to keep you here bound. And this one over here is yelling out, but I got something better. But because it's so low, you can't hear him because of the loudness of this one. Y no puedes escuchar la voz del Espíritu por lo, lo, el volumen que tiene este tan alto que te dice, nunca vas a tener otra relación así. There'll never be another man like this one. There'll never be another you like this. There'll never be. He's always keeping you here. And the Spirit says, if you only knew what's on the other side of the wilderness. El Espíritu está aquí gritándote, diciéndote, si solamente supieras que está de aquel lado del... Del, del desierto. But we don't pay attention to it. Mm -hmm. No le ponemos atención al Espíritu. Why? Because many of us are living in our experiences and we never allow the Holy Spirit to take them there. Right. Muchos de nosotros vivimos en las experiencias y nunca permitimos que el Espíritu nos lleve ahí. Are you hearing me, church? Amen. Look at somebody tell them, this is good. This is good. So, God wants you to listen. We speak the wisdom of God. God wants you to meditate. God wants you to meditate on the word of God and the spirit. This one doesn't want to meditate on it. You know what motivational speakers do when they come up? You know, people pay so much money to go see a motivational speaker. La gente paga mucho dinero para ir a ver a una persona que te va a dar, que va a hablar una persona que te va a hablar y te va a traer palabras de aliento o de algo and what they're doing all they're doing is trying to paint a picture in your mind of what could be but they're never going to get you there if you never see yourself there doesn't matter how much money you pay no importa cuánto dinero usted paga la gente que está parada en un en unos escenarios hermano dándote palabras de ánimo de aliento diciéndote que tú vas a hacer esto el otro nunca te puede llevar ahí si tu mente nunca va a venir Many of you, you'll get as far as your, your mind will take you. Muchos de nosotros vamos a llegar lo más lejos que nuestra mente pueda llevarnos. You know why we never succeed? It's because we, our mind, we have not allowed our mind to take us there. So you always see yourself down, broke. You'll never have. You see yourself in that situation because you do not allow your mind to get you there. What about you start thinking yourself happy? That's what Paul said. Paul came and told the king, the, 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 the king when he came before Agrippa, he said, I think myself happy. In other words, I don't have to have somebody else think me happy. I'm going to think myself happy. Paulo vino contra el rey Agrippa y le dijo, no que tiene la gripa, no tiene la gripa, así se llamaba. Rey Agrippa le dijo, rey, yo, me, yo pienso en mi mente, yo me veo sano. Yo me veo contento ya. In other words, I don't have to wait for somebody to see me happy. I think myself happy all by myself. Amen. You don't need to que alguien me venga a contentar. Yo me contento solo. Some of you, you will never get happy unless somebody you have somebody else. I like to hang around with the wife because he's so funny. Listen, you need to be happy all by yourself. You don't need nobody to make you happy. Amen. Right. Amen. Say it one more time. <laughs> right? Come on, right? If I could just get him, I'd be the happiest person in my life. God, Jesus said... <laughs> I, you got me. I'm the one that created everything, and you still ain't happy. Mm -hmm. Come on. Ay, yeah. Señor, si solamente me das esa persona, voy a ser la persona más contenta. El Señor dice, pues me tienes a mí. Si no estás contento conmigo, no vas a estar contento con ellos. Amen. 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 Somebody tell him, I think he's talking to you too. Mm -hmm. We have to listen. We have to... You have to, the, the people of the world, 
it, it's, and it talked about the world, the, the, the wisdom of the world, the things of the world. It's not talking about what the world we used to think about, you know, because there was, when we were in church growing up, there was some, we, we were very religious to the point to some, to some degree, some churches were like, you can't cut your hair, you can't paint your hair, you can't wear makeup, you can't wear, you know, put on pants, you gotta wear this, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't wear no earrings. And, and you know, we know some people do need to put makeup on. Some people do need to cut their hair. It's nothing bad. Right? Come on, somebody. Some men, we do need to lo lose weight. Come on. We need to comb, we need to comb ourselves. We need to comb our hair. We do need to brush our teeth. Come on, somebody. And, and, and that's not what it's talking about. It's not talking about the religious, the world. But this is how the world thinks. The world thanks after they get it. Right. The world will always thank people when they have it in their hands. They will never, ever thank the Lord before. Right. We as Christians, we are not designed that way. Como cristianos, that's why the Bible says, that's what we read, it says it's foolishness to the world, to the flesh. Why? Because the flesh will say, that's foolish. If, some, if we had a window here, si tuviéramos una, una, una ventana aquí, the people that are going to the restaurant will look in here and say, look at all those crazy people over there dancing. Why are they dancing for? Why are they shouting? ¿Por qué están gritando ahí adentro? Si, viéramos, si tuviéramos una ventana aquí, la gente de afuera pensara, pensara que estuviéramos locos. That's, I, feel, I believe, this is just me, I believe some of you don't invite people to church here because we are crazy. <laughs> And you're just afraid they're going to judge you and tell you, I'm not going to go to that church anymore. They've got a bunch of crazy people in that place. Good. We do. We are crazy. Right. But we're crazy for a reason. Amen. Somos loco por una razón. Amen. Because of what God did for us. Come on, somebody. Amen. So listen, the things that we say and the things that we do are foolish to the, to the world. Las cosas que hacemos y que decimos son locuras para la gente del, del mundo, hermano. Imagine you, you don't have no, listen, if you don't have no money and you say, I believe I'm a, I'm a millionaire, people in the world are going to say, you're crazy. You'll never be a millionaire. Look at you, you don't have it. No tienes nada. But the more that we keep on confessing that, yeah. all of a sudden, our mind starts confessing it. Our spirit starts agreeing with our mind. El Espíritu empieza, aleluya, a juntarse con la mente. Dice, hey, va a suceder. It's going to keep, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. He, gee, many of us are never going to be millionaires because we don't think like that. Right. We don't give our mind, hallelujah, that opportunity to think like that. What? So am I going to win the lotto? No, it got nothing to do with lotto. It doesn't have anything for you to go to gambling. As a matter of fact, you're going to waste more money over there. Right? And then you're going to come back mad and upset and, and, and you're just going to complain. It's not about winning the lotto. It's about getting Jesus. And it's about agreeing with Jesus. De ponerte de acuerdo con Jesús. Speak those things that are not as though they are. Habla las cosas que no. Listen, if you come in here and you're limping or you're sick, if you come in here and say, I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. Gracias, Señor, porque estoy sano. Estoy sano, Señor. And you get up in the morning, you say, I'm healed. And then all of a sudden, you start walking right. And you're like, wait a minute. What happened? ¿Qué sucedió? Hallelujah. What happened is that you agree. Your mind and your spirit got together. And they start agreeing. And the Bible says, we're two or three. Two or three are gathered in the name of God. He says, I will do. Donde estamos otros de acuerdo. En su nombre, dice el Señor. Empieza a suceder. All of a sudden, you see yourself healed. Hallelujah. Before you, listen, you declare you're healed before you already, you see it. Declaras que eres sano antes de que lo veas. That's what the Bible says. We speak those things that are not as well. No, they are. Hablamos las cosas que no son como si ya lo son. Diga amén a alguien. Ah, glory. Go to verse 15 real quick. Ya me lo acabo. Promise. 15. 15. 15. I got so much in here, guys. <laughs> but he who is spiritual, listen, judges all things. Yet he himself is rightly judged by no one. Mm -hmm. Verse 16. For who has known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of who? Christ. Christ. You're only going to be judged. Listen, you are not going to judge by nobody because they don't know. The flesh, they can't judge you because they don't know what the Spirit knows. La carne no te puede, la gente del mundo no puede juzgarte porque no conoce las cosas que están en el Espíritu. Amen. That's why you are not going to be rightly judged. Why? Because they don't know the things of the Spirit. What God has placed in your life. Are you here with me, church? Amen. Mm. You will be judged. 
be, you will not be judged by the world because they don't know what God put in your spirit. Are you hearing me? Amen. Amen. And God says, you and I have the mind of Christ. <coughs> and we have the mind of Christ. Si tenemos la mente de Cristo, el Espíritu, you can never go wrong. But we have to be honest. We don't always have the mind of Christ. We, we don't always think like Christ, right? We think like the world sometimes. Amen? Right. Amen. Christ means what? Anointing or the anointed one. I'm going to mess you up with this last scripture, I promise you. Go to, go to 1 John. 1 John 2.15. Con esa escritura, primera de Juan capítulo 2, 15. Aquí, aquí sí les voy a dejar caer todo de una vez. Para que se nos quite, amén. Amén. First John 2, 15. It says, do not love, listen, do not love the world or the things of the world. If anyone loves the world, he loves the Father. The love of the Father is not in him. Did you read that? Do not love what? The world. Or the things of the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. No ames al mundo, ni las cosas del mundo, porque si amas al mundo y las cosas del mundo, dice el amor del Padre no está donde. It's not in you. The love of the Father is not in you. Come on, somebody. Go to verse uh, 16. For all that is in the world, listen, the lust of the what? The flesh. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but of what? This world. Listen, it's not even of the devil. It's of the world. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life are of the world. El amor, aleluya, la lujuria, la carne, a los ojos, o el orgullo, eso es del mundo, hermano. Why are we walking in the flesh? Verse 17. Are you getting this? Verse 17. And the world is passing away, and the lust of it, but he who does the will of God abides forever. All the things are going to pass away. Todas las cosas van a pasar. Lo único que no va a pasar es el amor del Padre. Everything is going to fade away, people of God. Todo se va a acabar, hermanos. Todo va a pasar. The things that you are lusting for are going to pass. Las cosas que usted y yo, mi hermano, aleluya, anhelamos o deseamos, esas cosas se van a pasar. Are you here with me? Amen. Why are we chasing things that are going to pass? Porque estamos buscando, mi hermano, cosas que van a pasar. Are you hearing me? Amen. Come on, somebody. Don't get distracted. Why are we following things that are going to be? You know that car that you wanted to have? El carro que usted quería tener? That you said, I got to have that car. Right? And then when you saw the payment book of that car, you're like, I don't think I want that car. <laughs> ¿Verdad? Ay, quiero ese carro nuevo, ese carro nuevecito. Y lo miraste el pago. Ah, no, no, no quiero el carro. <laughs> Why? Because the payment did not go with the lust. The car did. And then what happens is throughout the year, next year, they're going to come out with another car. So the lust for that car that you had is going to go away to come to a new lust of another car. El orgullo, mi hermano, la, 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 el, el, el deseo carnal que le tenías para ese carro nuevo, hermano, se va a acabar en un año porque van a sacar otro carro más mejor. Amen. Amen. If you don't believe me, listen, those of you who want to have the latest thing, you are, some people say, I'm so in love with the iPhone, this or that. Listen. Your passion will die. Tus pasiones, tus deseos, por ese teléfono, van a acabar. And the thing about it is that Apple knows that you are lusting for these things. That's right. So they come up with a new iPhone, catch this, and there's no, not much different. They just upgraded a little bit the camera. And we're like, I gotta have that phone. I got to have that phone. Tengo que tener ese teléfono. El más nuevo. El más reciente. Y luego el otro año sacan otro. 
Y otra vez el amor, la pasión, the passion, the desires again. I got to have. Pastor, I got the iPhone every year. I get the new one. <laughs> That's from the devil. Why? Because it's a passion. It's a desire that you want to have. Because that desire, that passion is going to go away. How many of us, listen, please be honest with me. How many of us use every feature that the iPhone has? I don't have iPhone. How many of us know every feature that the iPhone has? All we do is call, text, take pictures. That's it. Instagram. Right? Set the alarm. That's it. Everything else that you're paying for, all the extra stuff, you don't even know. You don't even use it. Never open up those things. The heart rate. What's your heart? I don't know. It's on your phone. <laughs> don't even open it. Está monitoreando tu corazón. El teléfono mismo te monitoreó el corazón. El azúcar. Sugar. You don't even know. No sabes. But the last of it. El deseo de tener algo. God said, if they will lust after me like that. Si viniera atrás de mí así. I'll always be new. I'll never change. Yo nunca cambio. They don't have to worry about me next year being somebody else. I'm the same today. I'll be the same tomorrow. And I'll be the same next year. No soy el mismo. No cambio. They don't have to wait about upgrading to me. I'm already upgraded. I'm all that you can have and all that you need. So lo único que tengo. You'll never have to pay for upgrades with me. Amen. Amen. It's amazing that you have these new phones and new, new iPhones or yeah. new Samsung or all these other Galaxy. Every phone is like that. Listen, they still get glitches. And they still, they still when there's no internet, they're still buffering. Don't matter how many thousands of dollars you pay for it. No importa que tanto pagues por tu teléfono como quiera vas a tener problemas. You still got to charge it. They never come up with an iPhone that will last a long time. <laughs> you still got to charge it. <laughs> you don't have to charge Jesus. Amen. You don't have to worry about how low it is on that battery. The only battery you got to check is your battery. Amen. Come on now. Yeah. And that's why you got to plug yourself to Jesus and make sure you're plugged up all night and all day. Why? Because you still run out. You still go down. And then you, there's still a Listen, your phone will never die until it turns red. That little battery will turn red and it'll tell you it's dying. I'm dying. Some of you, you're always on that red. There is no power. Hay mucha gente que está en lo rojo. Cuando su teléfono se va a apagar, hermano, siempre se pone en lo rojo. Siempre. Right? It's always on the red. It will never go from green to dead. No, it'll go to the red, telling you, hey, you gotta, you gotta plug me up. You gotta plug me up. You only have a certain amount of time. Your life, your spirit is shouting, shouting to you, telling you, plug me up. Plug me up. I'm at 5%. Estoy a 5%. Enchúfame con tu padre, with the heavenly father. Plug me up. Why? Because the, the more I go down, the more he goes up. Él se va para abajo. Él se va para arriba. And your mind's all confused. That's why you're in the life you're in. That's why you're in the mess you're in. Because he's all confused. Don't know who to pay attention to. La mente está tan confundida, no sabe qué ponerle atención. ¿Por qué? Porque el espíritu, el porcentaje del espíritu está abajo, pero la carne está bien arriba. Are you here with me, church? Amen. I'm talking to you today, church. Talk to me back. Aleluya. Verse 18. Verse 18. Little children, it is the last hour. And, and as you have heard, that, that the Antichrist is coming. Mm. Even now, Many antichrists have come, but which we know that it is the last hour. Mm. But verse 19. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, that they would have continued with us, but they went out that they might be made manifest, that none of them were of us, none of the Christ that were out there. Verse uh, 20. But you have an anointing from the Holy One, and you know all things. Mm. Go back to 18. Go back to, no, I'm going to finish with this, I promise you. Mm -hmm. Little children, it is, it is the last hour. I get four of them, remember I three. As you have heard, there are many antichrists. What did I tell you Christ was? Anointing. Cristo quiere decir unción. 
Antichrist is anti-anointing. Ante la, 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 la palabra anticristo quiere decir en contra de la unción. There are many antichrists in the church. The only antichrist we refer to is the one that speaks about in the, Revela in the book of Revelations. That's the only antichrist we, are, we reference to. El único anticristo que nosotros conocemos es el anticristo que Revelaciones nos dice. But we don't know about this other that is being manifest that is against the anointing. Que es en contra de la unción. Anything that is against the anointing or the things of God is an antichrist. Toda cosa que viene en contra del Espíritu de Dios, de la unción de Dios, es anticristo. He said, yet there are many, say many. See, we only know about one, but here it says, even now, many antichrists have come. Yeah. Right? It says many. Yeah. What does many mean? ¿Qué quiere decir muchos? ¿Qué quiere decir muchos? There is many people that are against the anointing. Listen, if we are not obeying the Holy Spirit, then we are against the anointing. Mm -hmm. Say it again, Pastor. Come on now. Right? Si no hacemos lo que el Espíritu nos dice, estamos en contra de la unción. If the Spirit or the anointing tells us, the Spirit tells us to do something, if the Spirit of God tells us to do something and we don't do it, we are against the anointing. We are walking in rebellion. Guess what that makes us? Antichrist. Come on. Did you hear me? Si el Espíritu nos dice que hagamos algo, si el Espíritu de Dios nos dice que hagamos algo y no lo hacemos y nos rebelamos en contra del Espíritu, venemos a ser anticristos. We are against the anointing. Can I tell you something? Many antichrists are in the church right now. Many antichrists are leading churches right now. They are against the anointing. You don't believe me? They don't let the Holy Spirit loose in the church. They're afraid of it. They don't know how to handle the Holy Spirit. No saben cómo lidiar con el Espíritu, muchos pastores. Por eso no le dan la libertad del Espíritu Santo. Listen, if we come against the anointing, we are antichrist. Si venemos en contra de la unción, mi hermano, aleluya, venemos a ser anticristos. Therefore, we have to allow, make sure that we are connected to the Spirit, conectado con el Espíritu, para que Él haga las, correct, las, las, las decisiones correctas so that our mind can do the right thing. Decisions, make the right decisions in our life. Why am I in the situation I'm in? Because he's made all the wrong choices. Mm -hmm. Because he has not allowed this one to talk. He's the only one that's talking. Nunca dejamos que él hable, sino que él está hablando. How do I fix that? Let's start living in the spirit. Let's start paying more attention to him. Because he knows our life from beginning to end. He knows where you're supposed to be right now at this moment. El Espíritu sabe dónde debes estar en este momento. La carne no sabe. La carne no más quiere lo ahorita. Él conoce tu mañana. The Spirit of God knows your tomorrow before you ever get there. And He knows how to guide you and maneuver you there. El Espíritu Santo sabe cómo llevarte ahí, hermano. Pastor, I don't want to be an anti-Christ. We'll start listening to the Spirit of God. Pastor, yo no quiero ser un anticristo. ¿Sabes qué? Vamos a ponerle atención al Espíritu Santo. Vamos a ponerle atención a, a Él. Porque Él sabe nuestra vida. He knows our life. How many of you want to live better? Amen. So when we pray right now, we pray that, that whatever, because listen, this guy right here receives a lot of hits. Nuestra mente, our mind, receives a lot of hits. Because all it's doing is Every signal he's sending is replaying the hurt that you went through. Todo el dolor. But today, we can shift that. Today, you can allow him to make the right choices. Que haga la decisión correcta. And I told you this last week. Our objective today is to get the mind and the flesh separated, divorced, so that he can live in the spirit. Para que él pueda, so that you can have, listen, if you have the mind of Christ, right? He said, listen, there, there's, there's many antichrists, even now many have come, by which that is the last hour. But he said in verse 20, he said, but you have the real Christ, the real anointing. Tú tienes la misma unción. If we choose to walk in the spirit, We will never listen to him again. 
Si caminamos en el Espíritu, hermanos, nunca le vamos a poner atención a Él. I pray that you begin to pay attention to Him. That even now, pay attention to the Spirit of God because He knows your life. He knows what's best for you. I know some of us think that we know what's best for ourselves. No, you don't. He knows what's best for you. The Spirit of God knows what's best for you. El Espíritu de Dios sabe lo que es mejor para ti. Stop living in the flesh. Live in the Spirit. Deja de vivir en la carne. Vamos a vivir en el Espíritu. Porque el Espíritu sabe y conoce todas las cosas que Dios tiene para ti. Pastor, I'm being tormented in the mind. Listen, do not allow it. Get back in the Spirit. Get back into the Word. Recibe la palabra, métete en la palabra y empieza a recibir del Espíritu, no de la carne. Amén. Amen. And you stand to your feet. Thank you, brothers. Thank you. Thank you so much. Start receiving right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I want you to put your head on your mind right now. Say, Father, I will not allow the lust of the flesh. Padre, no permitiré que los deseos de la carne, the lust of the eyes, deseos de los ojos, or the pride of life, o el orgullo de mi vida, Guide my life. Que guíe mi vida. In the name of Jesus. Today, I choose to set my mind on things above. Hoy decido poner mi mente en las cosas de arriba. I declare today, yo declaro en este día, that I have the mind of Christ, que tengo la mente de Cristo. And the desires of the world, y los deseos del mundo, they're no longer in my life. Ya no están en mi vida. Father, I pray for every person that is here right now. Oramos por cada persona que está aquí en este día. If you are here and you have let your mind run around, si estás aquí, has permitido que tu mente ande por todos lugares and you just need peace at the end. Pastor Saul came up here and he talked about that peace over somebody's mind right now. Habló. Would you just let me pray for you right now? That God would just come in and settle your mind. Que Dios venga y traiga paz sobre tu mente en estos momentos. That whatever your mind has been rehearsing the past or the things that have been going on in your life, en el pasado, las cosas que han pasado en tu mente, han pasado en tu vida, God wants to heal you. If there's anybody in here that would like to give their life to the Lord or just Rededicate their life. Si hay alguien aquí que quiere darle su vida al Señor o rededicar su vida al Señor, can you do me a favor and just lift up your right hand and say, Pastor, I want to give my life to the Lord. I want to, I want to live right. Quiero vivir bien, Pastor. Quiero vivir bien. Can we just declare this today? Podemos declarar esto en este día? Just say, Dear Heavenly Father, diga Padre Santo, I thank you. Gracias. Thank you. Because you healed me. Gracias porque me sanaste. Thank you because you have forgiven me. Me has perdonado. Thank you because you have delivered me. Me has liberado. Thank you because I am who you say that I am. Gracias porque yo soy quien tú dices que yo soy. Father, I am the head and not the tail. Señor, soy la cabeza, no soy cola. I am above, I am not beneath. Estoy arriba, no estoy abajo. I am blessed coming in and I am blessed going out. Estoy bendecido al entrar, estoy bendecido al salir. I declare, declaro that my best days, que mis mejores días están en frente de mí, they are in front of me. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will always, tú siempre, you will always receive all the honor and all the glory. Tú siempre recibirás toda la honra, tú siempre recibirás toda la gloria. And Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my brother Ruben right now, my brother Ruben Bella. Father, I pray that you give him the strength that he needs at this moment. Dale la fuerza que él necesita en este momento. 
as he goes through the loss, this loss right now. Heal his heart, his mind, his spirit. Sana su mente, su espíritu, su carne en este momento. I speak a miracle over his life. Un milagro sobre su vida. A miracle over his body, over his back right now. Sobre su espalda, sobre su vida. Declaro un milagro en esta mañana. In the mighty name of Jesus. We have declared that you are a God that still does miracles. Declaramos que eres un Dios que todavía hace milagros. In the mighty name of Jesus. And all of God's people said, Shout amen. 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 Hallelujah. I want you to look at somebody real quick and tell them, I don't want you to live in the flesh no more. I don't want you to think like the flesh thinks. No pienses como piensa la carne. No pienses como piensa el mundo. Look at somebody tell them, you are better than that. You are designed by God Almighty. Es diseñado por Dios Todopoderoso. Can I get an amen, somebody? Amen. Somebody shout unto God with the voice of triumph this morning. Dale un grito de júbilo al Padre en esta hora, en esta mañana. Gloria sea al Padre, aleluya. Now listen, we have uh, our women's Bible study this, this Monday. Are they having Bible study? Bible study is yes. tomorrow morning, tomorrow night at 7. We'd like to invite all the women to come on out at 7 p.m. Amen. Women have Bible study tomorrow. Hallelujah. Thursday, uh, Wednesday, we have service. Tenemos servicio el miércoles. Thursday, we have our men, 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 men. We need you to come back to church. Amen. We need you to come back to the Bible study, men of God. Amen. And then uh, Friday, uh, the youth are still on hold. Okay. Amen. And then uh, Sunday we'll be back again at um, 10 a.m. Amen. So um, God bless each and every one of you. God bless you. We thank you so much for coming. We thank you so much for being here. I want you just to close your eyes right there where you are. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless every person that is here. We thank you for every person that came. I pray for a changed mind, changed life. A transformed mind, a transformed life. Una vida transformada, una mente transformada. Una vida cambiada, una mente cambiada. Father, I pray blessings to come upon their life this week. Bendiciones, Señor, que vengan sobre su vida esta semana. Father, I thank you for the miracle, Lord, of this young lady that we prayed for at the beginning. El milagro sobre esta, esta señora, Señor, que oramos por ella esta, esta mañana. We thank you, Lord, for the things that you are doing and you are going to continue to do. Gracias por las cosas que has hecho y vas a continuar a hacer en el nombre poderoso de Jesús. We give you praise, we give you honor and glory. Te damos toda la gloria, toda la honra. Let your angels surround us and take us home safely. Que tus ángeles acampan alrededor de nosotros y nos lleven de nuestros hogares con bien. In the mighty name of Jesus and all of God's people shout. Amen. 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 God bless you. We love you guys.